Hi, this is Jonathan Butler. I'm sitting here at the House of Blues Studios where I recorded my album, Living My Dream. It just made sense to me to call this album Living My Dream. These are the best years of my life, and I feel like at 52, I'm just coming into this new, this newness of life, this newness of, of discovery. It was conceived when I moved into the new house, just the creative energy that was going around. First, and first time in a very long time, I was searching out people like my friend George Duke, you know, Marcus Miller, to do some co-writing with my daughter Jody Butler. I looked for different energy. I kind of stirred the pool a little bit, and uh, we wrote a whole lot of different songs. Every day it's the same routine on my way to the studio. This studio is just amazing. This is like all old school instrumentation that we were using. It, it, it made us feel very at home here. Don't wanna make a fool of myself. You knock me off my feet. It was such a collective energy that they were like, man, we are experiencing something really magical in here, you know. So this album really gave me back that sort of dignity and that pride to say, man, this is how records were made. I didn't feel we need ear candy, as they call it, to make the record great. Let's keep it natural, that's it, yeah. I had the opportunity to work with the late George Duke. I said, man, I'm not giving up on you until you write with me. The night before, he was in hospital, and uh, he surprised me. He came straight into the studio and sat here, listened to the music, and we wrote a song called Be Still. That was one of George's favorite scriptures, and he sat right in that control room and recorded it. I love the song I wrote called Heart and Soul. Baby, I'm on my knees. Can't you see I'm begging you? I, I'm, I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I sat in front of my piano and wrote the song, Tears Rolling Down My Eyes, within 20 minutes. I was going through a bit of self readjusting, behavioral adjusting, attitude adjusting humility adjusting period of my life and that was very important to me that song can't you see i'm nothing without you all i know is i'm living i don't want to sing songs that doesn't make me feel whole anymore because it's like i've always had the r b flavor in me i've always had the pop flavor in me but i'm just now beginning to dig up the spiritual side the, the gospel side the jazz side I, I can't, I cannot live in a box for too long. This is the essence of me expressed in song and, and in music. I think I'm going to arm wrestle somebody if they say it's a long title. <laughs>